Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. And now, it's time to see if I can get the rest of... ...the Power Moons in this level. Which will go however it wants to go. Now, where is this... ...other moon that's over here? How far over here is it? Oh, there it is! <laughs> right there! Cool, that one's easy enough. Above the parasol, catch! Uh, where are the rest though? The rest are all over on that side of the map, so I might head over that way then. And actually, if I use this thing, I might be able to get there somewhat quickly. Except it's gonna run out, so... Got most of the way over here. So there seems to be one that is... I don't know, I feel like there's one that's moving, but I don't actually think there is. I don't remember there being one moving. There's the note one there. What's the one over here? Did it move? Hang on. Oh yes, the bird. I did see the bird last time, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. Bird traveling over the ocean. Now let's get this note one if I can. I think I probably want a cheap cheat for this though, so I'm gonna grab that one. Oh yeah, I definitely do. There's also a lot of notes here to get. So hopefully I can get all of these before they all disappear. There we go. I especially love this part of the game because you just get to see more moons just sitting around the place. When the moons are just sitting there, you just... They look better. Just uncollected. I die. I don't know what's going on. Um, anyway, it's fine. They just look good like that. Now, I believe we've actually got a hint out for this kingdom, which we can do. So, let me bring that up quickly. Uh, right there. From... I can't remember which kingdom we got this from. Like, I can't even tell from the background extremely well. But anyway, let's go get that one, which I know exactly where it is, because it's right down here. And I think this is... No, that's a different moon right here. That's fine. Well, I can still grab this one, so... I might have to check that picture again just to make sure I know where I'm going. I feel like it's around here somewhere. Maybe. Just gonna grab another cheap cheap. Go. I think it's over this way though. I think. Yeah, this looks like it. So let's... Hang on, it's on this platform, isn't it? Ground pound. Yep, there it is. It's from the Luncheon Kingdom. Okay. Let's get up and see where the rest of these moons are. There's one there. Or well, two there, actually. Two there, and one there and there. So let's go to the Hot Springs. And I think I know exactly what the Hot Springs one is, because it's the one I tried to get last time. But because it wasn't available to us yet, I was just down there getting hearts for no reason. Oh no, there's a thing in the water. We are all prisoners. Oh, how nice this hot spring feels. Or Oh, come on. That feels agreeable. Oh, dear. Well, that's a shame. Oh, uh, actually, I think... I might be wrong, but I feel like this moon isn't actually in the spring. Maybe it is. Oh, no, it isn't. It's right up here. Ah, so close. Might be easier to grab one of the, uh... Squids. And just grab... Grab that. Rapid Ascent on the Hot Spring Island. Okay, I'm gonna go get the, uh... Oh, too far down. Get the one over here somewhere. Right there. That one seems very easy. 
It's also interesting to play through the game getting as little moons as possible, so that when you come back later you can just spend a lot more time in each level. And just see all the moons everywhere, basically. Anyway, let's go get the last uh, few. We're gonna do the race first though, because we have Cooper Free running in this level to do. But because of the strats that we know, we can actually get this fairly easily. So let's go. It's actually super easy. Here we go from... Actually, this one's got a little bit of interesting, like, mechanics to it. But still, we can skip a whole section, so... Because we start off underwater and we have to swim up. Probably grab a Cheap Cheap and then grab a Squid to get a boost to the very end. Go, 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 go. Also, if a Cooper Trooper runner has captured something, I guess, in its own way, it will look like its shell and just spin to where it needs to go. But anyway, let's just skip this entire thing because we're extreme, extremely good at this. Actually, I think we can even get this thing up here if we do it like that. Yeah, we can. 35 seconds. Probably not the best that I could do, but still pretty good. Everyone else has to go through the tunnel. Not even the Gold Cooper Trooper goes through the tunnel. Ah, uh, skips over the tunnel. That one. So this is very, very easy. Also, these, um, those green boards next to minigames and races are the worldwide uh, scores for everyone who's connected to the internet. Just on display for you to see. I think the Gold Cooper Trooper actually went for a different... ...thing. Squid. Well anyway, let's go. Absolutely crush everything. That wasn't enough. Oh, there he goes. Oh, it looks like he actually grabbed one of these squids to actually go... <gasps> oh, that's not good. That's not good. I might have to retry, which you can do if you go to the menu like that. There was no way I was going to beat the gold cube trooper at that point. Let's just swim up straight up here if I can. Because I think there's actually a squid right over here somewhere that we can grab. Oh no, he does that. That's interesting. I still feel like I went faster than him getting to that, doing it the other way. I'm pretty sure. Thirty-six seconds, just one second slower. Yeah. So it's just a little bit faster to use Cappy to grab a fish, I guess. Just a little bit. But anyway, that's that, and now there are only two more moons left to get in this kingdom. So let's go do that then. If I can get somewhere quickly. Ow. There we go. Don't know why I didn't grab the first time automatically. Um, let's see, where is this other one? It's over here somewhere. Oh, right here? Oh, there it is. It's a moon pipe. Just under the water. Oh, and this is actually a very interesting level. Also, there are no secret areas um, that are available from... Uh, what's it called? Moon blocks that will have purple coins in them, so... That's something to keep in mind. Anyway, we need to blow up all these rocks with these bombs. And now, we need to do that a little bit more to launch a bomb up there to break those rocks. How did I... Come on. Just... It's so difficult to line up this shot right now for some reason. There we go. And now, 
Ow. We can get up here and grab this moon. Aim, poke. Ready, aim, poke? I don't know. But anyway, I believe there's actually another one over this way we need to get. So let's see if I can get that well enough. We need to poke a bomb around the side like that, have it roll around the edge, which gives us the other moon. Which is a really cool thing to do. Just watching it spin like that around the edge. But anyway, that's all the, the things in this kingdom. So there we go. Now we can go to a different one. But where should I go? Let's see. We can go to any kingdom through the painting, so... Anything works for me, and we have to do them all at some point anyway, so... We also have to come back to this kingdom at some other point in time as well, because there's actually another hint art that leads here. Bowser Kingdom's probably one we should do. There's a lot of... We didn't even, like, clear... <coughs> dying. We didn't even clear everything that was in here the first time we came around. We just went straight through to the end, so... Uh, but I think it might just be worth getting the block now, just so I can do everything all at once. And then use um, talk or two to get the rest later. Also, I don't think I checked to make sure I got all the ones in the, what's it called, kingdom? The lake kingdom. No, seaside kingdom. That one. Because there could have been one in the air that I had to do something about first to get, but anyway. There's a hint art here for the Sand Kingdom. So we'll have to do that at some point. And if we go over here into this water, there's some boxes down here now. And I believe in the very bottom one is the Power Moon. Let's just grab that. From crates in the moat. Oh, don't poke me. Don't poke me. Now, if I had to guess, there's probably... Something somewhere with this. Well, there's the island that we can get to with the painting. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, yep. Hey, look who it is. It's, it's Sphinx. Flying through this kingdom. Because that's what Sphinx does. Also, I should have done the Moon Kingdom before doing this run, but oh well. I'll work out something. Grab that, please. Just gonna do this. Just skip that. Actually, I should have... Nah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of things to do, and just... It's all over the place. Um... No, I think I will go back. Actually, how did I miss those purple coins in the wall there? No, never mind, that's fine. Okay, let's head back just a little bit. Because I want to go look around here for stuff, since we can do that. There's a thing there. That's interesting. I have to actually poke one of those bombs down here. <laughs> there goes the rock. Oh, don't touch that, please. Thank you. Okay, good. Nope, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh my goodness, I'm moving. It's so limited in the directions that you can make it go. Please? Please. I beg you. Oh, yes. Okay, good. Let's go grab that then. That seems like a lot more difficulty than it should be to get that. Inside a block at the gate. Now let's go up the wall if we can. Okay. Um, I don't think I need this thing anymore, so I'm going to leave that for a second. 
If I do need it again, I'll come back for it. But let's get this over here. There's a lot of slingshots around the place that we can use. Thank you, moon block level. Now we need to get moon pieces in this place. Avoiding death and also... Yeah. Flying with this... Uh, dry bones. Grab this key down here as well. Grab that. I think there's also a secret area back here. If we break those blocks. Oh, it's just a thing. Okay. Uh, but I believe if I go down here and shake, we can get up here for that piece of moon. Grab that one. There should be one more, which might be down here. Yes, but we have to not go down too low. Which is fine. So there we go. Full speed ahead. Let's grab these moons. Searching Hexagon Tower. Center of Hexagon Tower. Um, if I'd go up there, that might be good. But I still want to clean up over here first, especially since I missed those purple coins that are right there. Seems problematic. Please grab those. Thank you, Mario. Get up there, please. Thank you. Okay. And this, this side over here is fairly similar to the other side. Except that somewhere along here... ...is a thing that I want to grab. Somewhere. Looks like it's all the way along here on this edge here. Grab this power line. And let's go... ...all along here. Into this little cage here that we could have gotten... Ah, uh, the first time we came through here, I'm pretty sure. Because I saw that during the cutscene. That opened up the gate. Oh, you want a thing, don't you? Is there purple coins here? Yes, there is. I'm gonna get that bird for him first. Because he wants the pokey birds. I don't actually want to know what they're called. I need to pro-check that. There's a, there's a thing for that. Um... Just go through the entire list. Uh, Pokio. I think I... No, I probably didn't pronounce that correctly. Anyway. Po po Pokio. Pokemon. Pikachu. Oh! Just Pokey... Po po Pokey birds. That, that's, that's the best I can do. So let's take it. To that uh, hat person thing, ghost question mark. They do seem very ghost-like. Oh dear, that's not what I was trying to do. That's fine. Oh, over here! Huzzah! It's one of those animals with a stretchy, stretchable beak. I have so wanted to see one up close. So the beak ra rapidly. Opens up from the microfolded uh, state. Yes, I am confident that I now understand that this odd beast fully. This this odd beast fully. I met a Pokio. We did it. Now there's another moon pipe up here. So let's see what this is. Possibly difficult. Um, somewhat. It's alright, though. Wouldn't consider this incredibly hard. Just need to not die. How did that not hit me? I don't know. But there is down here some boxes we can break. And then go in this hole. 
Oh, I need to go down a little bit more. I don't know how I could break the box underneath me. But anyway, poke the wooden tower. I think I have to pop out. Yeah. Grab a new one. Okay, there we go. Get poked. So we have to take this Pokio through this level, and this is uh, a, s a small platform, but it's mostly alright. But we've also got rotating walls that we can go into, poke, to try and get up. I don't know how I'm here right now. I'm just going. Oh, there's also a secret thing here, apparently. Oh, oh, close to death, but not quite. Gonna take this completely out. I don't think it has anything down here other than this heart, so wasn't really necessary, but it was a thing that I did, so. Just have to go all the way up this, and there we go. Climb the wooden tower. Okay, I think that's everything on that wall now, so I guess we can move up a little bit more. There's a lot of areas up here that we never even looked at. So if I can get up there, that'd be good for looking at all of that. Uh, I need a Pokio there. Grab Pokio. Grab it. Get past this guy. Need to go up here for that. Um, these purple points I missed. And possibly just so I can get up. Although I can probably just teleport up. Um, let's see. Can't really go anywhere from here. I can get this hole in the wall which gives me coins, I'm pretty sure. Not a moon. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just teleport up. It's not that far to teleport, but I'm going to just teleport up anyway. Oh, actually, I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have taken the Pokio up here. I needed the Pokio. Um, well, that's a shame. Uh, but for now, let's go over this way. Is there anything at the end of this? Over here, there's a pipe, which I think is actually a pipe that goes from here to the beginning. Yeah. This gate is actually closed now, so we can't actually open that from here. Have to go around to open that. Which we can do. You want to use the shortcut. So that's interesting. Have to do something about that door. I think you can open it. Okay. There's also this guy that's going to get angry at me. And try to do something about me. Gonna head up here, ground pound, and he's done. Which actually opens up that, cool. I believe there's also some purple coins up there to get, so I need to get those. Which I think I might have to wall jump for, since I don't have a pokey, or po pokeyo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, please. There we go. Have to time it right so you actually get the right angle. And also use Cappy a little bit. But here we go, secret area. Let's grab a Pokio. And it's very similar to the last secret area because we have these things that move around. So let's let it turn around all the way so we're on the back because everything's on the back. Obviously. Just gonna drop down here. <gasps> ooh, ooh, that was close. Anyway, let's grab this key. And there's the two moons at the very top of this tower now. So let's go do that then. I don't know if I have to reclick the key if I fall though. I might. But for now I'm just I'm just climbing. <gasps> oh how did that grab work? I wasn't expecting it to work. Also sometimes these platforms don't align with where you can grab or where you are. Up and down down and up the spinning tower. On top of the spinning tower. 
think there's also a pipe here to get out of here. Okay, let's jump down here. And now this is actually the second best way to get coins in the entire game. So if we grab the seed and take it over here, there's a heart in one of these boxes if you need it. But if we can go up here and go up into the secret area, uh, you can redo this over and over and over to get coins, and it's pro this it's the second fastest way to get coins in the game. But this is the best way to get coins in the game if you don't have internet, so. We have these running flowers, and we have a pretty straight level. To get all the coins in this area, you just need to run and grab more of these flowers. Uh, but I'm gonna be going slightly off track for that power moon. Which you can ignore on future runs for just coins. And I'm not, not sure if I can even line myself up properly with this anymore. That's fine. It's fairly un in line anyway. And then you just need to... Well, you stop... You, you keep running once you've got the first moon. This, this last moon here. And then you just need to make sure you ground pound at the end to get those last coins. So, I could actually grind, grind some coins here for a little bit. Since we will need a lot of coins for the... Some of the um, outfits. But yeah, I remember doing this. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how long ago it was now. Just grinding coins. Oh, please get up on the vine so you're at the top so it goes faster. Slightly. This is just... I'm just going to do it one more time to show how it is when you're not collecting the moons. Nothing left to do here. Yep, I know, Cappy. You don't have to touch the move control stick, it's just jump and throw. And then grab out at the end. It does take a while to grind the coins, but it's the fastest way. As far as I know. Didn't get all those coins because I didn't ground pound at the end. Oh well. So, now that we've done that, let me change the music quickly. Nah. This one's a good one. I could actually skip down here right now. So let me... Oh, bad. Well, it was close. If I was a little bit better at that jump, I'll be fine. Also, for some reason, whenever you die, it resets the music that you play, so... That's really strange. Anyway, I, I don't think there's any purple coins to get down there, but I'm probably just gonna have to do it normally anyway. Just so I don't die again. Let's see what's over here. I believe this is a slingshot back over this way. So we can get the stuff over here. Like these purple coins. Half of the purple coins. Oh my goodness, there's a lot we haven't done in this level. Okay, well let's go through here then. Does this spin do damage? Not really. It does damage though when I have my nose out. Beak thing. It's a nose. It counts as a nose, right? I don't know if it counts as a nose. Anyway, this is a fairly secret area. Ah, uh, that's just for coins. Let's hop into this room. Because it's a gold room with a moon in it. This gold dis like this gold doesn't respawn though, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately. But it's a good increase to our current number. Now I might actually go back down to grab the the Pokio that's here. Maybe. Although, I, it's, it's probably just about the same as going back to the start anyway. Please? Please, thank you. Goodbye, sir. Just gonna walk past you.
Very nice. Efficiency. Oh, not efficiency. Okay, so... If we get the Pokio all the way up here... Beneath the keep... We can take it over this way. Also, Pixel Cat Peach up here. Ah, for a bit of health. Which is probably useful the first time around, but back here are some holes in the wall. And I believe one of them, uh, not both of them, one of them, has a moon for us. I'm going to check what the other one is. It's probably just coins. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was so close there. <gasps> Please. There we go. Yep, just coins. But anyway, poking your nose by the great gate. Okay, well I think that's all we needed this pokey for, or pokeo. I'm not gonna get that right ever. Uh, also, while we're up here, we've got some rabbits running around. Oh, these ones are fun. Fun! So much fun! Especially if you can land right next to them. Nope. Okay, hit him. Just need to catch up, please, before he stops panicking. Okay, he stopped panicking. Great. Please, rabbit. There we go. When you're running downhill, you go a little bit faster, which makes it easier to grab him. Caught hopping at Bowser's Castle. Also, while we're at the very top of this thing, saying hello to that one that's running off, there's also this glowing spot on this horn thing here, which is another power moon. Caught on the giant horn. Now, does this one give me another moon? I feel like it does. Nope, just a coin. So you only need to get the, the right one, literally. Okay, let me see if there's some purple coins around here that I might have passed over. Yep. Can't get these on the first time around, though, until after you beat the boss, that is. Ah, uh, but also, if we go over here, and then we can jump off onto Bowser's face, there's actually a power moon here. If we ground pound. There's also purple coins here to grab. I believe these chains on these lanterns actually count as poles. <gasps> or I could just jump straight off. <laughs> cool. I want those purple coins. I want those purple coins, so give me the purple coin. We also can't uncapture this electric wire for some reason. Okay, here we go. It's probably a better place it wants me to jump from, like over here. Yeah, those do count as poles. Okay, grab it please, thank you. I think that's everything up here. Yeah, it looks like it. And there's just a thing over here to get yourself back. So there we go. And that's probably it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.